awoke, in many people, the desire to act in the same way as the culprits who originally performed these atrocities, who also became insane through propaganda. Anyone wanting to speak up against these past and still prevailing horrors, must never do so in this moronic manner. Condemnation must occur by pointing out the current existing ills and their ominous consequences for the future. Memories of past events in accordance with the idiotic motto, we must never forget Auschwitz, or, we must never let the horrors of the past be forgotten, etc., are completely out of place and dangerous, for they only prompt anew the identical evils and horrors of the past. Therefore this insanity must stop if the flames of neo-Nazism and the extreme right radicalism are not to be fanned any further. Only by banning the anti-insanity in the above-mentioned form can healing begin. And a fight against all of these evils and harm can only be crowned with success if the means to fight are restricted to those methods that do not glorify the memories as it has been the case until now. Instead, the methods must delineate them in a form that points out the damage and the harm, and reveal the subsequent consequences they will result in. This is my personal opinion, and I'd like to hear yours too at this time. Pata says. I wholeheartedly agree with you. I need not add any further explanations except, possibly, that only truly responsible, clear thinking and rational people will recognize this fact. One does not even require any psychological education, pure reason alone suffices to identify your factual explanation. Billy says. Of course, if this isn't the truth. But tell me in the middle of February, a severe earthquake occurred in Japan that caused more than 5,000 deaths and an immense damage. It was far, far more severe than the last major tremor in California, during which a great deal of plundering took place, and people behaved as though they had never been taught any decency and respect. This also happened in other places, in Mexico for instance, several South American countries and elsewhere, where all law and order collapsed. All of this stands in direct contrast with Japan where such things hardly ever happened and the people bore all hardships with admirable composure. Chaos and all other ills did not materialize the way they did in other countries, especially in America, where appropriate demeanor would have also been warranted. This appropriate demeanor was lacking as was a certain kind of culture. Indeed, Japanese organized crime groups even edit the population through food distribution and other things. This alone shows what true culture and honor, what composure and respect the Japanese possess. Chivalry and friendship are not simply empty phrases with them the way it is with many Americans who call you their friend very quickly. And yet the word has no substance for them, as we have so often seen over the past 20 years. Still, they are obviously also those Americans who are true friends and true human beings. To them friendship is a truly precious commodity. I, too, have such friends in America but unfortunately they are few in number. However, they are true, honest and good friends. Pata says. I am aware of this. The earthquake spread great suffering, misery, sadness and vast destruction throughout Japan and among the Japanese. Please convey to these people our deepest regrets and our great respect for their admirable conduct during those difficult times. Billy says. I'd be glad to, for I also feel a sense of high esteem and respect for them. Can any action whatever be taken against earthquakes? Pata says. The rule has shown, even on every one of our worlds within the Federation, that hardly anything reasonable can be done to prevent severe quake damage once tall buildings, etc., have been constructed. For this reason we normally only have low, greatly reinforced buildings capable of withstanding the most severe earthquakes. Our worlds, too, live and are shaken by earthquakes but our construction methods for buildings and their safety against planetary jolts are designed accordingly. Billy says. You also have houses and buildings that are not constructed from small pieces, that is, made from stone or cement blocks and so forth, since your buildings are made as single units from synthetic materials. There is not one seam anywhere, judging from what I have seen. 
Furthermore, they are constructed on systems of springs or as floating bodies. Pata says. This is correct, but these are merely two of the methods utilized to offset any jolting. Billy says. I did not claim that I knew everything. I only mentioned what I had observed during my visit. Besides, the earthquake was not the only alarming event on Earth in January. Throughout Europe, including Switzerland, monstrous storms and floods caused incredible damage. Pata says. This will also be the case from now on, for these disasters will increase worldwide even further, and so will storms, tornadoes, typhoons, hurricanes, floods, droughts and huge wildfires everywhere that will cause immense damage and many deaths on Earth. Earthquakes are also among these calamities that will cause yet even further damage and suffering, as will be the case also with wars and religious sectarianism, which is expected to initiate many sectarian dramas. Major crime and minor criminal activities will abound throughout the world, as will political and military turmoil. Islamic fundamentalism will become more extreme, and diseases and epidemics will increase among the terrestrial population. Of course, these crises will not take place at constantly high levels, for these things tend sometimes to increase or to decrease, therefore, at various periods the calamities will be more numerous and sometimes less so. They will continuously increase, however. The blame for this upward trend must be placed on the tourist trials, for through the constant increases in overpopulation they compound the increase in their every ill. Yet, we must really not spend any more time speaking about these matters because throughout the many years of our contacts everything of relevance has been discussed previously, and in vain, unfortunately. Human beings as a whole, especially those with responsible positions in governments and the military have chosen to ignore the population figures, although you and your entire group has made every effort and expended much energy and cost to publicize this information. Billy says. We do have some successes to show for it, because many people have picked up on our words and passed them on along with their efforts to begin living and behaving according to our statements and suggestions. Pata says. This is correct, of course, but I spoke about the majority of tourist trials and the majority of the responsible people. Naturally, the minority is important, for it is these people who lead in this fight with great fervor. Unfortunately, they will reap very little gratitude, even though they are ultimately responsible for laying the cornerstone for the positive changes. In this regard you and your group are in the preeminent position. Billy says. Thanks for the, flowers, the word, flowers, in this colloquial German phrase really means, compliments. Pata says. Now that we have withdrawn from earth, I want to reiterate the issue, once again that neither we Pleiarans nor any of the allies within our federation are maintaining any contacts whatsoever with terrestrial human beings, neither in a physical nor a telepathic form. Indeed, such contacts have never existed except, however, for five particular individuals whose identity you already know, and who died several years ago. Not one of them ever publicized the knowledge he or she possessed. Yet, what we want to say though is that we do maintain impulse contacts with terrestrial scientists and others. We shall continue these contacts through appropriate devices, although the individuals involved have not nor will they ever know about the contacts in the future. These impulse contacts are determined by evolution and are guiding mankind toward the future, whereupon research and inventions will transpire, new knowledge will be gleaned. Literary works in a futuristic form will be written, science fiction that will frequently be turned into motion pictures. You are the only person on earth with whom we had and still maintain contact with in both physical and telepathic form, except for those individuals whom you knew and who have since died. Billy says. What about other extraterrestrial intelligences since? Do any of those maintain contacts with terrestrial trials at this time? I mean with private people and the like, who have no connections with governments and the military, about which you are not permitted to speak. Pata says. 
This question must be answered with a definite, no. For none of the three groups who are constantly or frequently on earth, maintains any private or religious contacts with individuals on earth, which can also be affirmed with absolute certainty. This also applies to the many extraterrestrial visitors who come to earth for excursions, expeditions or whatever other reasons. The, examination contacts are excluded, because we are not speaking about them since they are not contingent upon two-way contacts. Billy says. This means that no contacts now exist between private citizens and extraterrestrials. And, just as you have stated, neither are there any contacts of a religion's nature between terrestrials and extraterrestrials. This means, then, that the stigmatized man and his benefactor, Cyrixa, are nothing more than frauds, liars and cheats. The stigmatist, Giorgio Bongiovanni, even wanted to come and bring me a very important message from the Holy Mother of God and the Father in Heaven himself. For nearly a week he had third parties pester us in a number of languages to arrange a meeting with me. He and his followers actually believe that his stigmata is a sign from God, while his signs, and those of all the stigmatic persons, are truthfully only generated by religious sectarian delusions and fanaticism. These signs are produced through a religious and sectarian-based psychogenic effect in the identical manner as was the case with the first famous stigmatic individual, Francis of Assisi and several hundred others. Patar says. This is absolutely correct. From our monitoring device I know about the incident regarding the telephone harassment by the followers of this delusional fanatic Giorgio Bongiovanni. It seems, the religious sectarian fanaticism knows no bounds among terrorist trials. Billy says. Another question regarding the Pleiades. You mentioned previously that they are still very young. Aren't there any inhabitable planets? Patar says. No. Although there is a planetary formation around some of the Pleiadian celestial bodies, they are in as young a state as the stars themselves, which is only natural, of course, when the stars are young, the planets must also be young. However, on the few planets in the Pleiades star cluster no life exists whatever at this time, and the question remains, whether or not any life will ever develop there. Billy says. Thank you. Another question for his book Geheim such UFO, Secret Matter UFO. Michael Hesman used to cover photo taken by a certain Amori Ribera, that shows an American Air Force F-14 interceptor and a UFO over Puerto Rico. Do you know anything about this? Patar says. Certainly. There is no doubt that trick photography was used with models suspended with fishing lines. We checked into this matter as thoroughly as we did with Ed Walters, whose photos also utilized trick photography. Michael Hesman is an enthusiastic ufologist but he is, in this respect extremely, almost irresponsibly, gullible. He allows himself to be unusually easily tricked and deceived, and he erroneously believes that he is of extraterrestrial origin. As our very profound investigations have shown, he is a purely Earth-created individual and this may, in part, be the reason for his UFO enthusiasm and the fact that he is so easily deceived. Billy says. Regarding the falsified photos there have been many other authentic pictures taken in the past few years by UFO observers. Among them, according to your own information, they are also photos taken by police and military personnel. Patar says. This is correct. A number of extraterrestrial intelligences allowed their spaceships to be sighted, filmed and photographed on Earth over the past decades. The UFO movie footage and photographic material produced worldwide, but especially in America, South America, England and other countries does not always show actual extraterrestrial flying objects. Instead, the photos also depict exotic aircraft that have been produced by terrorist trials on Earth over the past several decades, as well as craft that come from the terrestrial future, or those, which are known to us as bio-organic flying devices. They are so-called dimension changers, or life forms, that enter terrestrial airspace from another dimension. Billy says. 
Carlos Diaz, a 